is Alexis. And I'm Ty. And welcome to Drinks O'Clock. This, everybody, is the drink show that you never knew you needed. Indeed. Every month we showcase a rum, and for this month, In the month of February, we've got the lovely Cromanti. Cromanti. I like this bottle. It's beautiful. It's, it's very, got a lot of nice. history. Okay. And okay. A, lot of, a lot of things behind this, but we're going to talk about that later. I know, because we're going to get into the drink first, Indeed. aren't we? So, you tell me, Ty, what are we making? What do we need? Okay, so it's winter, it's cold, mm-hmm. and everyone's still stuck at home because it's freezing. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to be making a drink that warms people up, keeps people cozy. Mm-hmm. It's got lovely textures. Uh, and very simple. Everyone's got them. Everyone's got these ingredients at home. Mm-hmm. Three simple ingredients: butter, mm-hmm. spices, sugar. Butter, spices. I mean, not everybody's got spices at home, but we hope that the people that are watching this do have spices at And home. And will. if they don't, they can just go to any supermarket and get absolutely butter, spices, sugar. Well, they should do after Christmas because these spices linger oh, around. Okay. All right. Indeed. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Okay. So we're going to be making a hot buttered rum. Lovely. It dates back to centuries and centuries ago. Mm-hmm. This old school recipe. I've slightly tweaked it. You can tweak it too at home. Mm-hmm. Um, again, we're going to be making a batter today. A batter. Exactly. Okay, so okay. we're going to start off with a batter. Mm-hmm. And you might have a pot, a pan, a little tin like this. Mm-hmm. Anything that you can pretty much start cooking in. Okay. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a cooking. All right. Uh, first and foremost, we need butter. Butter. Any, well, you can have vegan butter now. Okay. Non dairy. Yeah. Um, I was going to say because not everybody is on the butter. Exactly. You know? So you're saying it doesn't matter whether This, it's exactly. Okay. Uh, it might be a l- quite squeamish and quite uh, uncomfortable for for some people, mm-hmm. but please trust in the process. All right. And trust me, this will taste delicious afterwards. Wow. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a couple of spoons of butter. Like so. All right. So again, right now, it doesn't look the part, does it? I mean, it doesn't. No. But I'm going to trust in the process. Let's trust in the process. So we've got about two. What's that? About a teaspoon. Couple of spoons. Couple of teaspoons. You can add more if you want to. It really depends on how much butter you like or okay. how much of the texture you really want. Mm-hmm. Secondly, I've got some Jamaican funk rum. An overproof. <laughs> An overproof Jamaican rum. Exactly. Oh, like wow. That. Okay. And don't worry, because it's overproof. What we're going to be doing <laughs> is we're going to be... Hold on, that's a flame. It is a flame. <laughs> we're going to be cooking slightly, and we're going to just be melting the butter down. So... Are you really about to set that, that flame on fire? It is on fire. <gasps> right about now. You see that? I don't know if you can. It is. I can, can see. Yeah. Games? That is wild. There we go. So I have a question, though, because I don't want people just dealing with open flame in their kitchen. And I mean, I guess it's in there in their kitchen. It's fine. I but mean, it, it could be on your stove. So again, so on your stove, you can do this. Adults only. Guys, I was going to say, yeah. Prepare with caution. And again, so what we're doing is we're letting this overproof rum cook with the butter. And we're kind of homogenizing the butter and letting it melt down. Uh, along with that. We're going to need our spices. Well. <laughs> I think so. So essentially, we want to grab a pinch. Oh! And slightly just do that. Can we do it again? Can we do that again? <laughs> can I do it? You can. There you go. Have a spice baby. Hold on. Oh, the elbows Nothing are Nothing happened. Oh! You've got to be aggressive. <laughs> That's exciting. Okay. okay. Right. Whoa! Okay, nice. we are flames... We are, flame, um, we are flames o'clock. Essentially, that's what we're doing. All right. So, uh, while this cooking process is happening, what's happening is the spices are reducing down with the butter. Okay. And the rum itself, and all the alcohol the rum, mm-hmm. is essentially burning down. So the oh. intensity of the rum is usually not there. Because what we want to do is we want to have the star of the show which is our spice rum called Comanti. Right, got and you. And Comanti have, have some really, really nice properties to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, mainly tamarind heavy forward. But we'll get to that a little bit later. We will indeed. Uh, I also have some sugar because sugar makes everything better. Right. And I've got some brown caramelized sugar over here. Oh. So again, I'm just going to go a little bit in like so. Maybe mm-hmm. one much for luck. Because February for me... Everyone's done their dry January. It's all about indulgence, getting back on it. Yeah. And again, just really enjoying yourself, feeling hearty and warm. And this, my ladies and gentlemen, 
will definitely get you feeling hearty and warm. Definitely. Okay. And also, it feels like it's. I feel like a real kind of mixologist doing this. Like I feel like a real con, a rum Again, connoisseur. Anyone can do this. Again, <laughs> exactly. Essentially, when you're, you know. Flamboying stuff at home when you're cooking with your wine. Yeah. It's a little bit like that. It's also a little bit fun too. Yeah. Um, it's as you can feel the warmth, it's very warm. Yes, and I can smell it. You can smell yeah, it. Yeah, I can smell it. So we've got all spices. So we've got nutmeg, we've got cinnamon, we've got clove. And this is what the original recipe calls for. What I'm going to do is essentially pour some of that in, like so. So this is essentially our batter mix. Wow. What you need, if you don't want to flamboy this at home, you can essentially use hot water or warm water, like so. And essentially, the star of the show. All right. Cromanti. Cromanti. Granada, history. A lot of, a lot of context goes into this deep, deep-rooted rum. And I'm going to pause you before you even pour, because okay. I feel like we have somebody who might be better off mm. talking about oh, this rum. The house. Danny! Hi, Ty. Hey, Danny. How are you doing? Pardon me. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks. Uh, now, I've got this very special rum here. Tell me your relationship with this rum. So I am co-founder of Cromanti. I run it with my dad. It's... Um, a family rum business. Lovely. So is this a spice rum? Yes, it's a spiced botanical rum. Okay. So we've infused it with tamarind, which means a lot to oh, there's the... some flavours in here. To everyone. Anyone Amazing. that's had tamarind balls, mm -hmm. you've got the South Asian community who love it because yep. it's part of their childhood and their cooking. Certainly was part of mine. Yep. Everyone Absolutely. loves tamarind. Um, so, Cromanti, what does the name mean? So, Cromanti is a port, actually, in Ghana. Uh-huh. And um, uh, a lot of people, of our ancestors, were transported out of that port okay. and uh, taken to the, to the Caribbean uh, as enslaved people. Um, a lot of their descendants mm -hmm. uh, are in places like Grenada, which is where my dad's from. Amazing. Well, Karaku. Just by smelling it alone, it, I can sense so much flavour, so much spice going into this. And as you've seen already, I've got my batter mix into here. I've got my butter into here. And we're just missing one final ingredient. And I think I need you to do the honours on that one. Ooh. So do you want to pour something for me? <laughs> Amazing. And what we're going to do is we're going to give that a little bit of a stir. If you've got cinnamon sticks at home, guys, you can garnish this with a cinnamon stick at home. Uh, I've decided not to because I didn't have any cinnamon sticks. <laughs> um, however, this drink should be nice and warm comforting, texturizing, and also hearty and warm. Here we have it, my version of the hot buttered rum. Would you do the honors? <laughs> Don't need to ask me twice. <laughs> mm. So, Danny, where can we find this rum? You can find it at cromanti-rum.com. And instant internet socials? Social is at cromanti underscore rum. Amazing. Simple. I've been Ty, this has been Danny, we've been Drinks O'Clock. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.